Hi, so in this video we are going to learn different types of quadrilaterals and their properties and how one quadrilateral inherit their properties from another. So a quadrilateral is a closed figure with four vertices and four sides and all its interior angles, that means all these angles, they add up to 360 degrees, right? So this is the definition of quadrilateral and now we will change one one criteria and see how we can get different types of quadrilaterals. So in this quadrilateral if I make one set of opposite sides parallel then what do we get? I'll get a trapezoid or trapezium. Here you can see this side is parallel to this side. This trapezium inherit all the properties of a quadrilateral. It has four sides, four vertices, it is a closed figure and sum of all the interior angles is 360 degrees but it has one set of opposite sides parallel and the adjacent angles between two parallel lines are supplementary. That means sum of these two angles is equal to 180 and sum of other two angles, this and this, is also equal to 180 degrees. Right? And if I make both the sets of opposite sides parallel, then I'm going to get a parallelogram. So this parallelogram inherits all the properties of trapezoid. And in addition to that, it has both the sets of opposite sides parallel. That means this side is parallel to this side and this side is parallel to this side. And this side is also equal to this side. Opposite sides are equal also and this side will be equal to this side. It has one more property. That property is diagonals bisect each other. If I call this point as O and if I name this quadrilateral as A, B, C, D, then AO is equal to OC and DO is equal to OB. This length is equal to this length and this side is equal to this side. And after this, if I make all the angles of this parallelogram equal, that means each of the angle is equal to 90 degrees, then what do we get? Then we get a rectangle and this rectangle will inherit all the properties of the parallelogram. Both the sets of opposite sides are parallel and equal also, that means this side is equal to this side and this side is equal to this side and its diagonals also bisect each other. In addition to that, we have all the interior angles equal to 90 degrees and we have one more property which is very specific to rectangle is that diagonals are equal. That means if I name this as A, B, C, D, then diagonal A, C is equal to diagonal B, B. That means we can say a rectangle is a special case of parallelogram. If I make all the sides of a rectangle equal, I'll get a square. Square is actually a special case of rectangle which has all the sides equal. It has all the interior angles as 90 degrees. Both its diagonals are equal and both its diagonals bisect each other. That means where they intersect each other, that point divides both the diagonals into two equal parts. Right? And now again if I start from our original quadrilateral and if I make two sets of adjacent sides equal, what do we get? I'll get quadrilateral something like this where if I talk about this vertex, the sides originating from this vertex that means this side and this side are equal and sides originating from the opposite vertex that means this vertex are also equal. That means this side is equal to this side, right? So this is again a special case of quadrilateral and this figure is called kite. Two sets of adjacent sides are equal and here diagonals intersect each other at 90 degrees. That means this angle is 90 degrees and it has one more special property which is the smaller diagonal the shorter diagonal actually gets bisected by the longer diagonal. That means this section of the diagonal is equal to this section of the diagonal. So this is the special property of kite. Now we have two possibilities. If for this kite we make all the sides equal and for this parallelogram also if I make all the sides equal, I get another special quadrilateral which is called rhombus. 
so if i make all the sides of the kite equal i'll get a rhombus and if i make all the sides of a parallelogram also equal again i'll get a rhombus so this rhombus actually inherits all the properties of a kite and a parallelogram that means both its diagonals intersect each other at 90 degrees and both the diagonals also bisect each other all the sides equal it is a special case of parallelogram and kite and if for this rhombus i make all the interior angles equal to 90 degrees what do i get yes i'll get a square so for this square also the diagonals will intersect each other at 90 degrees which is not true for rectangle but this property of the square gets inherited from the rhombus which is a special case of kite we can say square is a special case of rhombus and it is also a special case of the rectangle right so that's all for this video and for many more interesting videos keep watching mathsmart and bye bye till then